Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating on how to add an HTML page or HTML widget along with the media web part in SharePoint page. The editing experience ranges from formatting text to adding images or multimedia. You can get a little more into the code by embedding HTML directly within your SharePoint site. This task feels like little more like development, so let's have a look at a simple example by adding an HTML page. So what you do is go to your SharePoint site, click on page, and then click on edit. All right, so now let's say I want to add an HTML widget over here, just below the site feed. So, so what you do next is keep your cursor over here and click on insert, and then you have an embed code option. And this is the dialog box that you get on your screen. It says paste some script or an embed code below. Okay, I'm gonna type one of the code here. Okay, and best thing is that you get to see a preview of what you have typed, right? So this is in bold, as you see here. So that's what is showing up now. Just gonna click on insert, and you'll see that the HTML snippet is inserted. Here you go. Okay, and um, if you wanna change it, you just have to hit on the edit snippet, and you know you can go ahead and add more content. And once you're done with your HTML code insertion, you can go ahead and click on page again, and then hit on save. Here you go, so now you can see that the HTML code is inserted in your SharePoint site. And yeah, don't forget to check out, right? Now let's go ahead and add a media player app onto the SharePoint site. Now to, in order to do that, I'm just gonna hit on the edit button again, and then I'm gonna select one of the, let's put it here this time. I'm gonna click on insert, and this time I wanna hit on the web part button. Now what you need to do is scroll down a bit and you can find the media and content in the categories, select that, and then go to media web part. Hit on the add button and here you go. Now you can save this page and you'll see the following page which contains the media files. Just hit on the save button. Here you go. So it's simple, isn't it? So just give it a shot, it's simple. You just have to go to your SharePoint page and make the edits. Please know that you need to be an admin user to, in order to do all these functionalities. So that's it from my side and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Doc365 and stay tuned for more and more training videos. Thank you and have a great day.